going on guys welcome to another episode of my w204 crazy mods and upgrades and all that good stuff today i'm doing something a little different um i've actually wanted this mode for the longest like i wanted this one so badly um we all know the convenience of having you know a charger in the car but then not liking the cables i think i fell into that category the w205 guys have it good because it's easy for them to just go to the cigarette lighter box and just pop that up and get an aftermarket one but so far there's been none for the w204 which is what i own until uh, if you follow w204 arm on instagram um i just saw a post there and i saw uh these guys um melba modern and i saw this new 3d printed 3d uh wireless charging system that they came up with and i'm like heck yeah i gotta get one of that and um yeah i got these from those guys uh so shout out to them they shipped it all the way from australia so uh, i'll leave a link in the description if you want to get these for yourself this is pretty simple so from one to ten in terms of difficulty i'll say this is like a six it's not that difficult but you will need a lot a little or a lot of care to actually take this out you don't need much tools to be honest it actually ships with uh it ships with this uh t9 or t10 i'm not sure which one this is but that's about all you need so let me stop talking and get to recording videos here yeah, as you can see um this there's nothing wrong with the one i have it's pretty nice i have this carbon fiber thing going on here which is really cool and lush if you ask me uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me where i got this from i'll leave a link in the description as well for this um so most of the things that i'll be using here is just my hand and that tool so um, you could use a plastic pry tool if you want, but you know, I always look for a cheaper way to do stuff or an easier way for me. I have pretty steady hands, so I'm going to be putting that to work today. Alrighty, let's get going. So the first thing you want to do is um, take this off. Mine has like a, a bolt here that I usually unscrew and then take that off. And then you put your hands around here to get this one off it's pretty simple same thing here um just want to pry out easily it should be easy i don't think it's that hard uh, to pry off uh actually it's hard to do that with the camera on so i kind of did that off camera and there are two um, plugs here for this for your parking thingy you might take that off just so you can have enough room to walk um, i think there's a there's kind of a clip that you press to take out again i'd rather do all this off camera because it's easier but i always try my best to give you guys all the all the good information that i have here um mine is really gunky so the wood trim right part of it is tuck under here so you want to start prying from the top here um because it's actually easier that way um let's see oh well i got it you want to be careful so you don't break the clips and you just push out that way it should be easy like water um, and then this is the this is where it gets interesting because you have these two screws here that you got to take out and that's where the provided screwdriver comes in handy and plug that in a little force for the first time and you should be good after that i kind of do that off camera um but uh just want to keep your screws because the last thing you want is your screws fall into your transmission uh area i don't think anybody wants that so now that we're taking the two screws off one here and one here get this guy to focus uh, i think you can just push it back and wiggle out it should come out easy uh, well i might just have to wiggle mine a little bit i might need two hands to do this so i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to set my camera aside for this one <laughs> yeah. Hello. so this right here is where the new 
then your system connects to you. Uh, so you're gonna pry these out. I'm sure there's a cleave somewhere to take that out. From here, again, it's hard to do these things. <laughs> We camera in one hand. Oh, I think I see the clips here. But let's just pry that out and take this out. Out with the old. Okay. Not bad. A little grimy and coffee stains everywhere. But it's not bad. So this is the new one and that should plug in. It's plug and play guys, so you don't have to. And the thing I like about this design I'm sure it's gonna get better every time. Like this is homemade. Like it's a solution. I like the idea. I believe it's gonna get better. Um, so if you see that USB there, USB C there, so you can still charge with your cable if you want. If you don't want to use the wireless one, which is kind of cool. I, I think it's brilliant. So you plug this in back in, and you wiggle your way back. This is a little grimy, so I'm gonna wanna vacuum here a little bit. Yeah. If you ask me, I think this is brilliant. Um, it fits right in. You just gotta align it back to where the screws are or were before and fit that back in. Obviously, I'm not gonna screw it by hand, but uh, can I get you started? <laughs> yeah, it, it looks good already. I kinda like the, I like the flushness of it. Uh, you don't want to screw it too tight, so just in case you have to adjust this one more time. Not bad. And you just got to reverse the old step like you did before. And you should be good to go. Now that I plug that in and screw that in, let's see the moment of truth. See that? Look at that. See that charging sign? That's what you want to see. And that's brilliant. There you have it, guys. Let me know in the comment section if it looks good to you guys. So yeah, there you have it. Um, so far, this is an upgrade I'm happy with. Um, I wish this is like carbon fiber so it can match my interior, but overall, I have zero complaints over this. It's a, it's a good upgrade to add. Um, and that's one of the reasons I still have this car. It's like something keeps coming up and <laughs> I like experimenting with new things. So yeah, I mean, if you're in the market to buy a car and you don't have a ton of money like some other people and you want a car, you can upgrade, add new features to you without breaking the bank. I, mean, I think this is a good car. I will still recommend this car. Um, I have a video coming up because I'm about to do something really crazy to the exterior of the car. So um, if you're not subscribed, you want to stay subscribed for that one. It's going to be the craziest mod I've done so far in terms of, you know, aesthetics and um, cosmetic mods. It's going to be crazy exterior thing coming up. I won't tell you what it is. You got to subscribe to find out. So hit that notification button so you know when I upload a new video. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with somebody. And um, if you've seen anything in my car that you like, there will be a link in the description taking you to all the websites to get it from. Uh, if you buy from those websites or those links, I do get a kickback. It's not much, but it's something that helps me make um, videos like this. Cause you know, sometimes I just go online and just buy stuff. And just to tell you guys, it's possible to actually do these upgrades to your car. So thanks for listening to me rant for the last few minutes and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay creative.